and welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Today I will be doing a Diamond Club unboxing. I had the intentions to open and do three unboxings, but my camera is giving me fits and battery keeps dying. And this one is actually going to take longer to unbox because it's much larger. And this is an unboxing that I said that for sure would be being done today. So I want to go ahead and get this done. This is a painting that I ordered on, oh, I placed this order on December 26th and I received it on January 3rd. It is a square diamond painting and it is huge. This will be officially my largest diamond painting that I have completed. Prior to ordering this one, my largest was 150 by 50. It was an AliExpress painting. I'm sure many of you that um, are Mrs. Crochet, uh, crafting with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee, as well as JTMT Crafts, I think, Jeremy's group. Um, I posted it there, and it was the New York Brooklyn Bridge at Night. Yes, that is, I am the person that did that painting. So that there was 150 by 50 centimeters. This one here is actually bigger. Um, many people are excited that this has been brought back. I didn't actually see it when it was on Diamond Art Club's website when it was there the first time. I'm so glad that I seen it the second time. And I'm pretty sure that this has already been unboxed once, but not positive. Um, <laughs> two bags of drills. Two a bag, or packets of drills. And a toolkit. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I've gotten myself into. I keep saying that I'm going to stop getting these dark paintings. And I keep getting these dark paintings. But this is an absolutely gorgeous painting. I cannot wait to get this up and get started on it, which I will actually be doing today. I will be getting this up today. Um, I probably won't start on it today, but I will be starting on it this week and I will be doing a whip and chat while I am working on this. This will be solely worked on doing whip and chats. I have several paintings that I'm doing, trying to finish up from 2019 that I will be doing off camera. There might be some that I do in the, do a whip of chats with if it's something that I, cause I have several that I just really started on. There's not much already done on it. So I could go ahead and do a whip and chat and you could watch me while I'm working on this. So, going to be a while while I'm unrolling this. I hope everybody's having a fabulous Sunday. It is a beautiful 60 degrees here in Nevada, Las Vegas, Nevada. Bright and sunny. I didn't have to do a whole lot of housework or anything today, which is good. I did most of it yesterday. And my son is going back to school tomorrow for his one day a week that he attends actual classroom. He is in charter school. He is in the ninth grade, so he does half half of a day on Mondays from 7.30 to 11.30 are his uh, classroom hours. And then the rest of the week, he does everything online. This seems to have worked out really well for him this year. Um, we had struggles with him in previous school years in classroom where um, my son is on the spectrum autism spectrum. Um, he's high, very high functioning, but he can go from one end of the spectrum to the next in the blink of an eye. He is 50, just turned 15 years old as of December 17th. And I just think classroom, there was just, it was too overwhelming. All the students and all the information that was thrown at him, he only had a short amount of time in each classroom to retain the information and 
there really wasn't a lot of time to actually do the classwork. So then he would come home and he'd have homework in every class. And it just wasn't working. So now he's able to do things more at his pace. And he is bringing home all A's and B's. Best decision I ever made. Wish I would have done this sooner. But here we go with the canvas. As you can see, it is huge. And I'm still going. And I'm still going. So I'm going to change the angle of this camera. Hopefully you can see it better. And I will do my best not to make you all sick while I am moving this. But... This is sat on my island in my kitchen. I'm gonna come back. And I'm still going back. Yes, this is how big this painting is. It is huge. I'm gonna start at one end here and work my way over. Sorry about the glare. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful. Dark greens, light greens, browns, We've got trees, beautiful grass. We got three little three little people here. I know that there's a backstory on this. I'm not I just cannot remember what it is. You know, all of the paintings have somewhat of a backstory on what it's all about but let's go ahead and come over here and I'm gonna set you down and we'll bring this up there's a little thing here so take this film off so as you can see very clear drill field very sticky I think this is probably one of the stickiest paintings I've had yet that is really really sticky it has only has 28 colors but with the amount of drills that there are oh this is this is crazy this is absolutely crazy this is going to take a while this is definitely going to take a while and I don't know if this is actually supposed to be in this, if this is part of the painting or not, but I just noticed, is it just me or, hang on here, I'm gonna, I gotta fold this thing a different way to so you, you can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna change the angle of the camera again. I apologize in advance. But I was just looking in the sky of this painting and I'm gonna try and figure out how I can angle this to where you can see it. A second here. Can you see this here? Does that look like an owl? And is it supposed to be there? To me that looks like there's the beak and the two eyes. It looks like there's an owl in the sky. Let me look at this on the... No, that's funny because it's not here in the picture. It's part of the tree, actually. It's part of the branches of the tree, but it looks like an owl. That's funny. That's funny. But this is a beautiful painting. Let's go ahead and get in with the drills. I'm going to move you again. I apologize in advance. Just need to go ahead and have a spot for all these drills. I'm gonna keep this painting off over here. It's just, it's unmanageable to move around. All right, let's go ahead and get into these drills. And it's not gonna take long because there's not that many, but I am so excited to work on this. I apologize for the crinkling. If this bothers you, please mute your phone for a few seconds. I actually like the sound of this because I know that the crinkling means I've got drills that I'm using. And I love playing with the drills. I love hitting up my paintings. I just don't like hitting down my paintings. So, 
I said, we got a lot of drills, but not a lot of colors. So we're gonna get these all opened up. We'll start out with these big ones first because there's several bags of the same color. So let's go ahead and start this off. We've got 938, 3371, another bag of 3371, and another bag of 3371, and another bag, and another bag. Oh my goodness sakes, how many bags of 3371 do we have? Let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We have 12 bags of 3371. You see all of this here? This right here. This is one ninth of 938, and the rest of these are all 3371. Oh, good gravy. What have I gotten myself into? I thought when I did the Brooklyn Bridge with the black and the uh, with the 310s and the 939s, that was enough. I didn't think I was ever going to put myself in this situation again. But I'm going to love it. We had 310s. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 13 bags of 310. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. My husband came home. Okay, so let's get on to these here. So we've got a bag of 350, bag of 498, 3861, 814, 728, 3051, beautiful 3918, or 3819, absolutely love this color, just like a chartreuse, my son loves this color as well. We have 841, 839. 166. I guess this is probably closer to the chartreuse. 838, 640, 733, 645. Second bag is 645. 937. Another bag of 937. We have 470. And we have two bags of 939. Okay, and in this strip, which is the last final strip, we have, let me about this, we have 3021, sorry about the glare, 433, we have three bags of 844, 898, we have two bags, we have Two bags of 732. And we have one, two, three bags of 3787. And one, two, three, four, five bags of 934. And there's three more bags of 3799. So there you go. Enchanted Forest by, let me see her name, because I do not want to butcher this name. She's got a beautiful painting. I don't want to ruin trying to say her name. <laughs> it is, I'm assuming, I think, Andreas, so it would be a male, I'm assuming. Andreas Roca, Rocha. This is currently on sale for $49.99 on Diamond Art Club. It's originally priced at $79.99. And it is, again, a 55 centimeters by 165 centimeters. It is square with 28 colors. 
There are no ABs in this, but I have ABs. I might throw some in here just to give it a little sparkle in the woods, making it look like there's stars coming down through the into the dark or um, eyes in the background. So again, I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. I look forward to chatting with you soon and doing a few more unboxings. I do have things scheduled coming on my schedule coming up that I will be sharing with you. I hope you have a fabulous Sunday and a beginning, a wonderful beginning work week for you all. Look forward to talking to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.